next section, we are going to take our four vegetables and we are going to roast them in the oven. And what we're going to do is roast them on about 500 degrees. So first we're going to take our asparagus, we're going to cut off our ends, we're going to take them and place them on the pan, and we're just going to drizzle a little bit of olive oil. Also what I would like to do is take a little bit of garlic for some added flavor, and we're going to put these right on top of the asparagus also. Now we have our asparagus, let's work on our broccoli. Take a little bit of olive oil, drizzle this on our broccoli. Again, this is going to add the fat that we need to absorb our vitamins. All right, now for the corn. We're just going to put the corn on here like so. A little bit of oil. And then a little pinch of salt and pepper for flavor. And we're going to roast a beet. We're gonna make these ones about an inch wide. Stick these right on the pan. Again, we're we'll just take a little bit of olive oil. The asparagus are gonna take about 10 minutes to cook. The beets are gonna take about 35 minutes to cook. And the broccoli is also gonna take about 10 minutes to cook. And the corn is the same thing, probably about 10 minutes. So your beets are going to take a little bit longer than the rest of your vegetables. So, and again, if you're not a fan of any of these vegetables, you can just simply substitute them for one of your favorites. All right, so for our final uh, way to cook food, we're going to do saute. And the first thing that we're going to do is cut up our garlic and mince it we're going to add it to the pan with some olive oil and we're going to begin to reduce the, the garlic so that we have a really nice flavor for our sautéed vegetables. So we'll take our garlic, and put it in our pan, okay, and we're going to add our olive oil. You're going to want to cook this on a medium to high heat. Let's start with our beets. First, we'll take our beets and what we're going to do is we're going to shred the beets. That's going to reduce our cooking time and expose more of the cooking surface to the pan. And then you're going to saute them in the pan. Probably not going to take but about three minutes, maybe four minutes on a medium to high heat to saute your beets. So just toss those in there and mix them around until they're done. Next let's move to our asparagus. Same thing we're going to do olive oil and garlic and these are going to take about 10 minutes to cook. A little bit longer than the beets because the beets are just in shreds. And then we're going to throw them in our pan. Now mind you our pan is going to be hot already before we add our vegetables. Have it on the grill the garlic should be simmering in the oil before we, we put our vegetables in. And you might not have thought that you could saute broccoli, but like I said, you can pretty much saute any vegetable and cook it in any way. And don't be afraid to change up your vegetables. Every vegetable has a different nutrient, a different vitamin in it that we need. Our body is going to use these nutrients. Same thing with the broccoli. You do a little bit of garlic, a little bit of olive oil, and you can add some salt and pepper to your flavor, whatever you like. And the broccoli, you're gonna wanna saute for about three to five minutes. Another variation that you could do is you could add a little bit of chicken or turkey broth to the broccoli that's going to add a nice flavor and it's going to um, infuse into the broccoli and it's going to be very flavorful. 
So then we're just going to saute our vegetables, mix them around in the oil. 10 minutes, it should be done. The last thing we're going to do is saute some corn. And the only difference here is that we're going to take our corn and we're going to shave it off of the cob. Like so. Okay, same principle, we're going to use olive oil. It's not going to turn into popcorn. And we're going to put it in our pan. You can add garlic or any kind of spice or herb that you'd like. Corn you're going to want to cook for just three minutes. It doesn't take very long on a high heat to cook corn. There you go. Now we have a nutrient dense vegetable medley that I think you will enjoy very much.